Hi guys, Confluence and SharePoint are two documents management and collaboration tools, but which one should you be using? To help you make an informed decision, I will explain the main differences between Confluence and SharePoint and will consider 10 criteria to see how these two tools stack up. We will leave a link below this video in which you can get a free trial for Confluence and SharePoint, so you can also try them out for yourselves to see which one you like better. And let's get started. SharePoint is one of the market's oldest and most reliable document storage platforms. The application has over 190 million users. Businesses such as Gapeng, Transalta, Mott McDonald, and Arlo Foods all utilize the platform. The highly customizable platform is used primarily for document management and storage and collaboration. Users can also use SharePoint to build intranet sites as a way to make business processes more productive and efficient. Created in 2004, Confluence is a cloud-based document management and collaboration tool and is used by 60,000 users worldwide. It was created by Atlassian, the founders of Jira and Trello, and is used by companies like LinkedIn, Audi, and the New York Times. The collaboration tool is designed for sharing, storing, and working on various business documents or tasks. Users can create project timelines and tasks, write and share projects requirements, Price meeting notes, and more in tandem with other colleagues. Confluence also allows users to edit and make changes to documents which are easily viewed by other users. Before we jump into the differences between the two applications, let's first look at some similarities between these two platforms. Cloud-based, good customer support, free trials, third-party integration, live documents editing, and project management tools. And both Microsoft's and Atlassian applications feature a number of key differentiators that provide users with a unique experience. For the user interface, one area in which Confluence stands out is in its UI and UX. The platform's limited feature scope and incredibly user-friendly interface makes it an ideal choice for less technically skilled users. SharePoint's interface is more complex, making navigation slightly harder. And for the learning curve, because Confluence has limited functionality, it has a lower learning curve than that of SharePoint. Confluence users can easily log on and begin using the platform without the help of trained experts. SharePoint users typically require an expert in order to realize the full power and capability of the platform due to its extended functionality. When it comes to interoperability, Confluence has Jira and HipChat. On the other hand, Microsoft SharePoint integrates with all Microsoft products office tools, ERP, CRM, and others. In this case, SharePoint wins the race. And for the features, SharePoint contains significantly more features than Confluence. In addition to document management tools, Microsoft includes design, collaboration, formatting, and customization features, allowing users to create highly personalized tools and applications. So, if you have a complex project or a challenging working environment with a massive pool of data and documents to manage, SharePoint is a more suitable option. For the documentation, while both platforms have documentation capabilities, SharePoint provides users with more customization options. Additionally, because the application integrates with Microsoft Office 365 features, sharing and collaborating on documents is more seamless in SharePoint than Confluence. For the customization, this is arguably the biggest difference between SharePoint and Confluence. SharePoint is highly customizable, enabling users to create and edit documents, tasks, projects, and web pages suited to their unique business needs. Confluence has limited customization features, which may prevent users from creating the tools and applications needed for specific use cases. For the knowledge management, if you want to manage your documents, Confluence is the right choice. It's the perfect choice for small and medium enterprises for document management. However, Confluence can only use 700 add-ons. On the other hand, SharePoint is a robust document management tool with more than 1,000 add-ons to work with. When we discuss SharePoint versus Confluence for the listed history story, both of these tools facilitate it. Confluence has inbuilt document version management to restore the previous version by the version number. Each time the version is edited, a specific number is given to the document. 
On the other hand, SharePoint offers the documents versioning feature to track the history of any documents. The versioning feature also allows users to restore old versions of SharePoint lists and libraries. And for the chats, SharePoint features a built-in chat where users are able to communicate freely with other business users. Confluence does not currently have a chat feature, which means users must rely on third-party tools in order to collaborate. Now for the add-ins, both Confluence and SharePoint feature add-ins that further extend the functionality of each platform. However, SharePoint contains more than 20,000 add-ins, far more than Confluence 1,000. For business teams looking for high customization capabilities or to meet highly specific business requirements, SharePoint likely has the add-ins they are looking for. For the integration, while Confluence is integrated with Jira, Google Drive, Docs, and others, SharePoint has all Microsoft's products, including Microsoft's Office Suite, ERP, CRM, and other business intelligence platforms. For the public-facing sites, SharePoint allows users to publish sites as public-facing websites, a feature that Confluence doesn't yet support. Now for the pricing, Confluence prices start at $5.75 per user per month for the basic package and go up to $11 for the premium package. SharePoint is priced as either $5 or $10 per user per month, depending on whether you choose the basic or advanced package, so the two platforms come in at a fairly similar price point. However, Confluence also offers a free plan for teams of 10 people or fewer, so this may be the best option if you lead a small team or company. SharePoint, on the other hand, is included in Office 365 business plans, which starts as $23 per user per month, so it's definitely worth checking if you are already paying for it. So choosing between Confluence and SharePoint depends on your business and your needs. For example, small to medium-sized businesses can often get all the features they need from Confluence and benefits from its easy-to-navigate interface. On the other hand, larger enterprises may need more functionality, which can be met with a platform like SharePoint. Whichever tool you choose, take the time to carefully consider the functionality you actually need, the work you are willing to put in. Other than that, it's up to you. So yeah, that's it for this video. You can check the links in the description, that helps a lot. Thank you. So hopefully this video helped you out, and bye-bye.